talk about Welcome to Sweetie Pies, Season 3, Episode 2. Um, this, I don't know if I want to do the notes, but this episode really wasn't that much, but we'll just get into it anyway. Um, Tim is talking to his friend. Um, he goes, well, yeah, I guess he a friend, because he was talking personal to him, but he a guy that also works at the restaurant. Um... They was really talking about Miss Robbie want to see his new place and um, how he wants to start keeping the baby more often or whatever. And he wants to keep him a couple of nights a week. And the friend was like, you sure it's the baby? You know you love Janae. And he was like, it's not about Janae, it's about the baby. But his friend, it was about Janae. Whatever. But, you know, Tim does want to be a father, you know, wants to spend time with him. So I, I see that. I'm not going to knock Tim on wanting to be a father. I just feel like Tim don't want to be in a relationship. Um, Miss Robbie needs to come. And she's cleaning the bar. She's mad because Charles is not there. I don't know why they is so upset when Charles don't be there. Because that's Charles. Charles has been like that since season one. So why are you guys so shocked when he's not there? And when the bar is not clean? Whatever. Moni, come on now. But, um, so she started cleaning the bar. She called Charles and... I don't know where he said he was, but she thought she hung up the phone and she started talking to another dude that worked there and Charles was still on the phone and so you know he was mad. Charles is such a queen. He's such a straight queen. I don't know. But <laughs> yeah. Um Miss Robbie, she comes home, she talks to Andre. Andre is um near graduating um from high school i believe so kudos to andre because andre hell came a long way since he came from texas to go to st louis so i can't say he has came a long way he tells his grandmama he wants to be in a restaurant business and she's cool with that she just tell him long as he finished school first so yeah i i'm really liking andre i i like the andre last season even though you know he rough around the edges i really like him i like him better than charles it just seemed like he wants a little bit more than charles does um charles show up at the restaurant and um he mad. You can tell he got an attitude on his shoulder because of what he heard Miss Monique say. Which I can understand. Should you talking to about me, you thinking you hung up and then you talking about me or whatever to somebody else. What you could have said to me, I'll be mad too. And then you smiling and laughing at my face when I walk in. Come on now. I'll be upset too. Um, He tells her that he might, his ex-girlfriend or whatever is pregnant. She is just like, oh my god. I'm like, oh my God, say it ain't so. So, you know, he 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 cool with it. He 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 with it. Charles is with having a baby. I don't see him having one, but you know, he with it. So, um, after that, Tim and Janae, she goes, I guess I think he goes to her house. I don't know. But um, they talking about him keeping the baby or whatever. Janae is not feeling it because she feel like his house is not baby proof. She, you know, the baby has this set, you know, environment. And I can understand, um, Janae frustration because he was a premature. He was, you know, did go through a lot of stuff. He's still going through a lot of stuff. He's still not all the way developed you know, as his age, because they still have the nutritious come over and stuff like that. So, I can understand where she coming, but Janae, back up, boo-boo, that is still the baby's dad. So, you got to give him some kind of leeway. Just like you had to learn, Tim is going to have to learn. Just because you guys are not together, that's just more of the reason of him trying to get out there and do it. I'm just saying, just because he... Janae, I think, is holding on because she's mad because of the way their relationship is going. So, she kind of holds that, too. I'm just saying. Might be wrong, but that's what I get from Janae. She's still bitter because of their breakup. So, she kind of wants the baby just to be around her. She knows that if that baby is around her, Tim is going to have to come over there and see the baby. That's what she gives me. Might be wrong. I'm just saying. Um... 
Then she goes to Aunt Robbie because she says she ain't seen her and she miss her, yada, yada, yada. She just wants to talk about Tim and the baby and the baby coming over there. The Miss Robbie is just like 100. She just going to tell her, like, y'all need to figure that shit out. Y'all need to talk. Um, That still is dad. You know what I'm saying? And I get Miss Robbie. So, and don't try to go. I understand y'all got that cool ass relationship, but that's still that boy's mama. Just saying. Um. Anyway. Charles tells Miss Robbie about the baby. Miss Robbie is not excited whatsoever because Miss Robbie feels like America. Like, Charles is not ready for a baby. Oh, what the hell? Like, how did the hell did this happen? Charles can barely tie his shoe without some help, let alone take care of baby. But Charles, like I said, he is with it. He is happy. I can't even see them having sex, so I don't know how the sperm cells went up in it. I, I just don't understand. But, Charles, yeah, he had sex. I just couldn't see it. But, <laughs> I'm just going to leave that alone, Charles. But, yeah, whatever. He mad that ain't Robbie not excited. But, I'm sitting there like, who did you think? Charles, you're not responsible. So, everybody is feeling for this child, not you. Um... Andre and Tim, they go shopping because, you know, Andre want to be in the restaurant business. So, Andre has to start from the bottom and work his way up. So, Andre wants to know everything about the business. So, he's going with Tim and they're talking about, you know, him being in the business. Tim is like he's proud of him because even though he'd be hard on him, he's proud of him because at 18, he was in jail. And, you know, at least Andre is willing to, you know, make something better of yourself. And I agree with that. I, I'm really proud. Like I said, I'm really proud of Andre. Miss Robbie Go talks to Tim. She goes to his house because she wants to see how he's living. And she noticed that the, the house isn't baby proof either. And she's telling him, like, you need to get this baby this house baby proof if you want this little boy to come over here. And Tim is that's my son, but you know, she she agrees with um Janae, but she also agrees with that's his father. He needs to spend time with his father. Um, but she did notice everything that was wrong with that damn apartment. And like she told him, like Janae is his mom. She's gonna always be worried about him. You in your thirties, and I'm. I want to come and see where you stay. So you gonna have to get over that, uh, and you're gonna have to get over that, Tim. Um, Tim is him. <laughs> The, be the best friend, they go baby shopping. Why, Tim, would you go to a baby store that this boy told you was for celebrities so you know it was going to be kind of expensive? And then when you get there, y'all looking at the prices like, what the fuck? Like, didn't he tell you the celebrities go there? So you should have knew they wasn't no damn Babies or Us or no, no, whatever toy store, that baby store. It wasn't that type of party. So, I'm just saying. Don't think you weren't going to pay a pretty penny, especially going to some kind of damn boutique. That's a pretty penny place. But it was funny how the lady thought that they were a couple. I was like, oh. They was like, no, no, no. So anyway, he bought all this kind of stuff for the baby. And he's ready to baby-proof the house. That was cool. Miss Robbie and Andre, they go. And she drops him off at the restaurant. And she tells him she'll be back in eight hours. You're going to start from the bottom up in here. So he starts off washing dishes. He's doing the line. He is really, really trying. And I like that. He was tired as hell. But that goes along with the territory of working. So, um, yeah. Charles and, um... Charles goes see Tim. They're doing the baby's room because he, you know, trying to baby proof the room for the um little Timmy to come over. So they start talking about Charles being a father and Charles saying he's ready to be a father and he's ready and he knows how to be a father, what to do because he has siblings under him and Monique has kids and he had and Tim has kids and I'm sitting there like, you still wouldn't be prepared. I don't care how many kids you would babysit and help babysit. Been around, you are never be prepared to have a baby. I'm just saying, you never, I mean, I don't give a damn how many books you read. This shit is a learning process day by day. I'm just saying, my oldest child is 16 and I'm still learning shit. So, don't just act like you so ready. Come on, boo-boo. Mm-mm. Anyway, um, 
So then commercial comes back and we find out that Charles is not going to be a father. Not to be mean, Charles. Love you, boo-boo. But he said he felt like the girl um, was trying to, you know, I guess get back with him. And that was the only way she, this is what I got. That this was the only way that she can um, get with him is to say that she was pregnant. But she really wasn't pregnant. I think he had took two pregnancy tests over to her house. So she wasn't pregnant. Charles is down about it. But I'm like, you should be jumping over bar stools, doing some kind of dance. That you're not going to be a father because you're not ready. You're not ready for that commitment of a father, a husband, a boyfriend. None of that. A side piece. None of that. I just don't think he's ready. Charles is, ain't, mm -mm, I don't even want to go into on Charles. Anyway, Janae calls about the baby coming. She wants to make sure the house is straight. Tim says the house is cool. She was like, okay, I'll call you back all the time on when I'm bringing the baby, yada, yada, yada. Monique goes and tells Miss Robbie about um, Tim not being a baby daddy. And Miss Robbie is over there. She's She cool with it. She just was like, she didn't think neither one of them was ready to be parents. And they didn't. Um, then Miss Robbie, she goes home, um, to talk to, what's his name, Andre, about him working. He was telling her all the stuff that he'd done, and he was getting ready for work, and he was trying to be there before the, on, um, his boss get there. And I, and I appreciate that. Like I said, he is really trying. She understands he's trying. Um, it was a real cool scene, because I just really feel like. That, that St. Louis is the place for Andre to be. I don't know what he was doing in Texas, but I have really saw the growth in Andre. So I think that was the best place for him to be with Miss Robbie. Janae calls Tim and tells him that the baby can't come. She's just not ready. Tim is sad. Yada, yada, yada. I kind of saw that coming. I really just saw that coming because if she wanted that baby over there, she would have been took that baby over there. Baby proof or not, I'm just saying. Um, Miss Robbie, she goes talk to Charles, and, you know, they talk about the baby and him not being, you know, the girl not being pregnant or whatever, and Miss Robbie just want him to get his life together. It's time. You're over the age of 21, boo-boo. It's been time for you to get your shit together, Charles. I'm just saying, you're not going to be able to live on Miss Robbie forever. You're not going to be able to live on Tim forever. And then what? You, you know, you can't pay your bills. What are you going to do? You're going to have your house going to be the hood house where everybody just come parlay, kick it, go to clubs. And then, then what? Then you're going to be evicted. You're going to be looking real stupid and then be back with Miss Robbie. And she doesn't need that. I'm just saying, like, get your shit together. Get your shit together. If Andre passed your ass up on getting his shit together, you need your ass kicked. I'm just saying. Um, then the, it goes off with Miss Robbie just being excited that everybody, all of her, the guys are getting they in her family is getting their stuff together. And that's how it went off. So that was my review for Welcome to Sweetie Pies, um, episode, season three, episode two. Um, tell me what you guys thought about it. It wasn't that much. Everything was about Charles being a baby daddy and Nanny not going to be a baby daddy. And do you think Charles should have? would have made a good dad do you think that the girl was trying to trick him i don't know just tell me what you think about this episode um make sure you rate comment subscribe share my videos talk to me i'll talk back um follow me on instagram twitter facebook keep i do everything um, I do everything by the ghetto view, T-H-A-I-T-H-E, except my Instagram is Miss Nika, M-I-Z-Z-N-E-K-A-69. -E yeah, follow me on there. Tell me you, my, one of my subscribers and I'll follow you back. Alright, peace.